Hello everybody, we meet again in practice reading program. With me, Miss Lena here, and today I am going to read to you a story titled The Gingerbread Man. You practice your reading skill everyone, and now you may read the story together with me. Here I go. The Gingerbread Man Once upon a time, there was a little old woman and a little old man who lived in a little cottage. One day, the little old lady decided to make a gingerbread man. The little old man got the oven ready and the little old lady started baking. The little old lady carefully placed her gingerbread man in the oven to bake. Soon, there was a noise coming from the oven. It was the gingerbread man. He ran out of the oven and straight out of the front door. Stop, little gingerbread man, cried the little old man and the little old woman. But the gingerbread man would not stop. The gingerbread man did not want to be eaten, so he shouted, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And off he ran all the way along the lane to the garden gate. Soon, he came to a cow's field. You look tasty, said the cow. I think I'll eat you for my tea. You will have to catch me first, shouted the gingerbread man. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Next, the gingerbread man came to a horse in a stable. You look tasty, said the horse. I think I'll eat you for my tea. You will have to catch me first, shouted the gingerbread man. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Off he ran towards the stream. At the edge of the stream stood an old sly fox. Why are you running away? asked the sly fox. They all want to eat me, said the gingerbread man. I think I need to cross the stream. I can help you, said the fox. You can hold on to my tail while I swim across. And that's just what the gingerbread man did. I'm so pleased I met you, exclaimed the gingerbread man. They had been swimming for a little while when, all of a sudden, My feet are getting wet, shouted the gingerbread man. Then, jump on my back, said the sly fox. They swam a little further when, Oh no, I'm getting wet again. Well, jump on my ears, replied the sly fox. But the gingerbread man was still getting wet. Eventually, the sly fox said, Why don't you jump on my nose? So the gingerbread man jumped. But 
Just as he did, the sly fox tossed the gingerbread man high into the air and ate him up in one big bite. The end. Okay, boys and girls, thank you very much for your attention. I hope you enjoy it. See you again in the next reading practice program. Bye-bye.